<laughs> hey mamas, how's it going? So last week I said that this week we're starting a new series on Mama's Healing called Anzaki Art Projects. And as I was going over how to present this to you, I was just like, hmm, I love camouflage and I feel like a lot of a lot of I feel like a lot of people like camouflage. So I will be showing how to do the camouflage projects later on in this video. But what I thought would be a great project to start off with for the Anzaki Art Project series was working on a sigil. What is a sigil? A sigil is similar to a family crest or a coat of arms. And so a great example of this would be in Game of Thrones, right? Every house had an image that represented them. So the Starks had the dire wolf, the Lannisters had the lion, there was also the stag, the trout. I mean, there were like nine of them and all, but you get the idea. Something that represent like almost like a, a visual motto in a way, right? I'm gonna be as strong as the lion, as noble or the ruler of all like the lion. So I figured that would be a cool thing to do. I don't know if you guys uh, are into spirit animals at all. But I know a lot of people that really resonate with butterflies to symbolize transformation. Because if you think of a butterfly, right? It's first this little fuzzy caterpillar and it literally turns into goo inside that cocoon and emerges as a butterfly. My spirit animal is a sea turtle. Turtles represent, um, you know, taking it slow. If you think about the, the sea turtle and finding Nemo, he's like, yo, what's up, bruh? He was like super chill, super chill. Um, also, they represent home because they carry their homes on their back. And they represent kind of like everything, the universe, the entirety, because the dome of their shell the turtle itself rep represents life here on earth and then the heavens and the underworld in the chat below let me know do you know what your spirit animal is okay you know what i'm gonna do right now do a quick and dirty art sesh right now where i do something to do with a spirit animal so as i set up i'm gonna decide if i am gonna do the turtle i probably should just like i said just because it resonates with me i don't know if i'm gonna do the entire turtle maybe i'll just focus on the eyes or do something with the shell because they have those awesome um patterns let me get that set up I am probably going to be working with my Crayola oil pastels or maybe some charcoal today. I think I'll give the paint a rest. And then after that, I'll get into a quick little demo with the camouflage that I had told you guys about, okay? So stay tuned. That's coming up right now. The next morning. So that was our first Ansaki art project based on spirit animals, but I will be taking about three more minutes to show you this project that I did based on camouflage because sigils don't only have to be animals. It's very common, but if you even to tie it back to the Game of Thrones example, if you think about House Tyrell, their symbol was the rose to signify growing stronger. So I really have found myself using camouflage a lot the last few months. I was doing a painting and I'd asked my son, like, what should I put in the background? And he was like, what about camouflage? And I kind of really like love being a mom of boy. And I liked camouflage growing up. I liked it in high school. So we gave it a go and it took a few attempts, but I've actually now kind of found my, my little niche in, cam in my niche in camouflage. I don't think that's a thing. But I realized that my camouflage tends to be a lot more round. It reminds me of seaweed sometimes. Sometimes it reminds me of clouds. And I think that's important to me because I really do love nature. I love the ocean. I'm an air sign, so the clouds work for me, right? So let me show you this project. And like I said last week, I'm going to show you how I did it in two ways. So the first method I used was outlining the camouflage shapes before I began painting. And this, when I when it came time for me to paint after a while, this became pretty tedious. But if you think about those 
adult coloring books with all the mandalas, they normally do have very small and intricate shapes. So this pretty much is in the same vein as that. The second way that I did it when I did it the following way, and I, the following day, sorry, I was trying to ex like figure out like, okay, how am I going to show this to the Mama's Healing Crew, you know, as a project? And I was like, okay, well, what if we just honestly went with the flow and did it like just free spirited, you know, loosely based on camouflage. And so I did it that way. And to me, that was way more relaxing, um, where I just kind of was like, la la la, I'm gonna make all these little shapes, but it's a little bit harder to make that actually look like camouflage if that's the theme that you wanted to go for. But when I look at the two paintings now, side by side in completion, I really do prefer the look of the one that has the viney leaves so that I actually painted in. So it really all depends on you. I feel like at the end of the day, if I were to do it again, I would still go with the first method, but I would break the project down over a couple of days or even weeks depending on my schedule so that I could really enjoy coloring the small pieces rather than being like oh my god I have to do this so I can share it with the mama's healing crew and then kind of being like it's late in the night I don't want to be painting these squiggles in any longer but yeah I definitely like the look of the second sorry of the first one more I would love your opinion on it and your feedback and this is really cool because you know you can use any colors you like for the project you don't have to do the typical olive green camouflage and so I found myself doing a lot of the colors using the Bahamas flag uh, we you know not too long ago about pretty much two months ago experienced Hurricane Dorian and so we're still dealing with the aftermath of that and one of the hashtags that has been everywhere has been hashtag Bahamas strong and so this is my little like ode to that and yeah, I would love to see your art projects if you choose to do this, whether it be the camouflage or the spirit animal, or if something in this message resonated with you and you're doing your own twist on it, I would love for you to share that with me. You can share it with me on IG would be the best way to go about doing that and tag me at Mama's Healing and use the Mama's Healing hashtag. So I will be back here next week sharing some more art healing projects and I can't wait to talk to you ladies. Chat soon. This has been Kia.